Welcome to Globe Brief Updates. Subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates. Breaking news. Tonight we bring you a story that could change the fate of millions living along the Pacific Rim. This is not just another headline, it's a warning and a call to awareness. Beneath the calm surface of the sea, a silent threat lurks just off the coast, hidden from view but ever present. The ocean may look peaceful, but deep below, forces are gathering strength. Scientists have been monitoring the Manila Trench, a vast underwater fault line stretching for hundreds of kilometers. Here, the Earth's crust is slowly but relentlessly shifting, storing up unimaginable energy. An earthquake of immense power could be building in the Manila Trench, waiting for the moment to release its fury. The potential for a magnitude 8.4 earthquake is not just a distant possibility, it is a real and present danger. Such a quake would be among the most powerful ever recorded in this region, with the capacity to reshape coastlines and devastate entire cities, the consequences would be catastrophic. Not only would the ground shake with terrifying force, but the quake could trigger a massive tsunami, a wall of water racing toward the shore, threatening millions of lives in its path. Cities could be flooded within minutes, leaving devastation in their wake. The clock is ticking and every moment of inaction increases the danger for countless communities. Time is not on our side. The longer we wait, the greater the risk becomes. This is not fear-mongering, it is a scientific certainty backed by decades of research and data. Experts agree that the question is not if but when the next big quake will strike. The lives of people in major cities like Manila, Hong Kong and parts of Vietnam and Taiwan hang in the balance. These bustling urban centers home to millions are all within the potential impact zone. The threat is real and it is shared by all who live near the sea. Imagine a giant sleeping under the ocean floor, its movement slow and almost imperceptible. But now, that giant is starting to stir, sending subtle warnings that we cannot afford to ignore. The Manila Trench is that sleeping giant, a force of nature capable of unleashing destruction on a scale few can imagine. The danger is not just the shaking ground but the wall of water that would follow. A tsunami can travel faster than a jet plane, giving coastal communities little time to escape. A tsunami would travel across the sea at jet speed, crossing vast distances in a matter of hours or even minutes. By the time the warning sirens sound it may already be too late for many. This is a story about our vulnerability but also about our shared responsibility. We have the power to prepare to educate and to protect one another. Communities that plan together can save lives. The threat from the Manila Trench requires a regional response. Countries must work together, sharing information, resources and strategies to ensure the safety of all their citizens. We must see this as an immediate and personal danger. Every family, every individual, has a role to play in preparing for what may come. The safety of our families depends on understanding this threat and taking action now. Simple steps, like practicing evacuation drills and preparing emergency kits, can make all the difference when seconds count. We cannot wait for the ground to shake before we act. The signs are there and the warnings are clear. Our cities may seem strong, but they are vulnerable in the face of nature's power. The time for preparation is now, before the giant fully awakens. By acting today, we can protect our future and ensure that when disaster strikes, we are ready to face it, together. The Manila Trench is a deep scar on the ocean floor, a subduction zone that stretches silently beneath the waves, hidden from everyday view. It is one of the most significant geological features in Southeast Asia, yet few people realize the immense forces at work beneath the surface. Here, in the darkness, one massive piece of the Earth's crust is forced relentlessly under another, a process known as subduction. This is where the solid ground we walk on is slowly recycled back into the planet's interior. This process is a violent, slow-motion collision that unfolds over millions of years. The plates grind and push against each other, building up unimaginable tension as they move at a pace measured in centimeters per year. The energy from this collision is stored deep within the rocks like a spring being compressed tighter and tighter. Every year the pressure increases, waiting for the moment when it will be released in a sudden catastrophic event. The trench itself is a colossal feature, stretching over 1,300 kilometers in length, longer than the entire Philippine archipelago. It plunges to depths of more than 5,400 meters, a place so deep that sunlight never reaches the bottom, and the pressure is crushing. The Eurasian Plate and the Philippine Sea Plate are locked in a titanic struggle, their boundaries marked by constant tension and the threat of sudden movement. When the stress becomes too much the plates will snap, unleashing the stored energy in the form of a powerful earthquake. 
This is not a question of if, but when. The danger of the Manila Trench lies in its silence. Above, the ocean appears calm and peaceful, but beneath, the forces of destruction are quietly gathering strength. This lack of visible activity is what worries scientists the most. The quiet is deceptive, masking the growing risk beneath the surface. The Manila Trench is what experts call a seismic gap, a section of a fault that has been quiet for too long, storing up energy that has not been released in recent history. The longer it stays quiet, the more powerful the eventual earthquake is likely to be. Each year that passes without a major event increases the risk, turning the trench into a ticking time bomb. We must bring this hidden threat into the public consciousness. Awareness is the first line of defense against disaster. People need to understand the geography of their own backyard to recognize that the ground beneath their feet is not as stable as it seems. The Manila Trench is a geological time bomb and the countdown has already begun. The question is not whether it will go off, but whether we will be ready when it does. Ignoring it is not an option. History has shown that those who fail to prepare suffer the most when disaster strikes. Acknowledging the danger is the first step in preparing for a disaster. By understanding the risks and taking action now, we can protect our communities and save lives when the hidden giant finally stirs. To truly grasp the danger posed by the Manila Trench, we first need to understand the science of tectonic plates. These massive slabs of the Earth's crust are not static, they are in constant slow motion, drifting atop the semi-fluid mantle beneath them. Their movement is responsible for shaping continents, forming mountains, and crucially, triggering some of the most powerful natural disasters on our planet. The boundaries where these plates meet are hotspots for seismic activity. Most of the world's earthquakes and volcanic eruptions occur along these fault lines, where the immense forces of nature are at play. The Manila Trench is one such boundary, a deep scar on the ocean floor, marking the collision between two colossal plates. Here the Eurasian plate is relentlessly forced beneath the Philippine Sea Plate in a process called subduction. This is not a gentle movement, it's a slow, grinding battle of geological giants. Over decades, even centuries, the plates become locked together by friction. Pressure mounts as the plates continue to push against each other, unable to move freely. This tension is like a ticking time bomb, storing up energy that will one day be released. When the friction can no longer hold, the plates suddenly slip, unleashing a mega-thrust earthquake. These are the most powerful earthquakes known to science, capable of leveling cities and altering landscapes in seconds. The devastation from such an event is immense, buildings collapse, infrastructure is destroyed, and lives are changed forever. But the danger doesn't end with the shaking. The sudden upward thrust of the seafloor displaces a massive volume of water generating a tsunami. These waves can travel across entire oceans, striking coastlines with little warning and overwhelming everything in their path. The energy released in such an event is staggering, comparable to hundreds of millions of tons of TNT detonating at once. It's a force of nature that dwarfs anything humans have ever created. Scientists have studied these processes for decades, and the evidence is overwhelming. Seismic data, historical records and computer models all point to the same conclusion. The threat is real. Modern GPS technology allows us to measure the slow but steady convergence of the plates with incredible precision. Every year, the gap narrows and the pressure grows. This is not a random or mysterious event, it's a well-understood geological process observed in subduction zones around the world. The same forces that caused the devastating tsunamis in Japan in 2011 and the Indian Ocean in 2004 are at work beneath the Manila Trench. History has shown us the catastrophic potential of these events. The laws of physics are universal. The mechanics of subduction and earthquake generation do not change from one region to another. What has happened elsewhere can and will happen here. The threat is not hypothetical. It is a clear and present danger that demands our attention and action. Preparation is our best defense. By understanding the risks, planning ahead, and practicing emergency drills, we can save lives and reduce the impact of disaster. The time to act is now. The science is clear, the threat is real, and our response will determine our future. If a magnitude 8.4 earthquake strikes, the shaking is just the beginning. In Manila, the ground would heave violently, collapsing older buildings, bridges would buckle, roads crack, and power lines sever. Emergency services would be overwhelmed. Then the tsunami would approach. Waves would race across the sea at jet speeds. Manila Bay's shape could amplify the tsunami's power. A wall of water would surge into the city, causing absolute destruction. 
millions live in potential inundation zones. The scenario demands we prepare for the unthinkable. History shows the power of megathrust earthquakes and tsunamis. In 2004, a magnitude 9.1 earthquake off Sumatra unleashed a tsunami across the Indian Ocean. Over 230,000 people died. In 2011, Japan faced a magnitude 9.0 earthquake and tsunami. Nearly 20,000 people died or went missing. These events teach critical lessons. Tsunamis are ocean-wide threats requiring international cooperation. Even the best preparations can be overwhelmed by nature's force. The Manila Trench could combine the worst elements of these tragedies. We must learn and apply these lessons before it's too late. Despite the danger, the region is alarmingly unprepared. Low public awareness and inadequate infrastructure are major issues. Many cities have grown in low-lying coastal areas, at risk from tsunamis. Few cities have clear tsunami evacuation plans. Vulnerable populations often lack access to reliable information. The region is focused on growth, blind to the geological threat. Complacency is our greatest enemy. Significant gaps exist in the region's tsunami defenses. Warning systems are not robust or integrated. The last mile problem hinders effective warnings. A dedicated tsunami warning system for the South China Sea is needed. Technology limitations and sparse dart buoys are issues. Public education and drills are lacking. Without regular drills, even perfect systems will fail. The cracks in our shield are deeply human. Facing this threat requires a monumental response. Public education is the first step. Governments, schools, and media must inform coastal residents. Emergency planning and infrastructure are crucial. Cities need detailed tsunami evacuation plans. International cooperation is essential for robust warning systems. A unified regional tsunami warning center is needed. Regular large-scale evacuation drills are vital. Building this wall of safety requires commitment. The alternative is unthinkable. This is our final warning. The threat from the Manila Trench is a geological inevitability. We stand at a critical crossroads. We have the knowledge and technology to prepare. The question is whether we have the will to act. A tsunami will not recognize political boundaries. This shared vulnerability must lead to cooperation. Leaders must unite against this common enemy. This call to action is for everyone in the region. Demand action from leaders, educate yourself, and prepare. Your actions today can save lives tomorrow. Let us be the generation that heeded the warning. The giant is stirring. The time for action is now. We must work together to protect millions of lives. We have been warned.